In this video, we will demonstrate some of the more advanced features of service mapping. We will see the business service history feature and how to display the network path between the business service CIs. We're logged in with the user who has the service mapping admin role. First, let's navigate to the list of our business services. We will use the customer management business service in our example. The history timeline shows the topology changes for the time period as shown. The small bubbles on the timeline indicate changes in the topology over the time period. Configuration or topology changes create the bubbles. First, we will demonstrate attribute changes, which are caused by a real CI change that happened on the network. After a new discovery runs, the CMDB is updated and the CI now has the new value for the attribute. Topology changes also create a bubble indication on the timeline. Topology changes will be updated when a real change in topology occurred and the CMDB was updated accordingly. Manual topology changes, like adding a manual connection, will cause a history bubble as well. In this example, we will change an attribute manually, which will create a bubble on the timeline. Clicking the cogwheel allows us to edit the business service. We click on the list CI's related link to locate the sample DB web server, and here we can change its version. When we navigate back to the map, we can see many bubbles on the timeline representing multiple changes over time. When hovering on a bubble, we can see the change as a tooltip. Here's a bubble representing the change we just made. We can also monitor changes by clicking the Changes tab, which shows which CIs have been changed and when. The Changes view is dynamic and shows the changes in a specific CI or in the overall topology. By moving the handle along the timeline, we can see the topology and attribute changes. The map is updated accordingly. Clicking on this icon brings us back to the current time. Let's talk about network paths. A network path is the physical connection between two CIs, meaning the network components connecting those CIs. To show the network path capability, we need to right-click between two CIs and choose the Show Network Path option. The network map will open in a new tab exposing the network relation between the two CIs. This option is available only if the discovery process already discovered the relevant routers and switches, so that the relation between those CIs can be displayed. For more information, please consult our product documentation or knowledge base, or ask a question in the ServiceNow community.